I feel like I'm, the new Mario game is not going to be new anymore. Hmm. Let's place the perfume we prepared inside. Let's make sure we do this right. Uh, this perfume prepared. Do you know Ben and Ping? Are you also an adeptus? An adeptus? Does he actually know about the inner world? When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. I'm, I'm really wondering, is, is does he also have another teapot like that? So what's the next step in our Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Oh my god, and hi <laughs> there, fetch quest! Everyone loves kites! <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys. I'll explain to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Where? Oh, God. I, like, I thought we were finished. Just, we got the perfume. We got the jade. We got the, um, the cleansing bell. Oh, sure. Uh, how many more fish quests are we going to do? No, we, we are. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. I have to buy them, don't I? It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite now. It's rare because rare. Action cut, like Econox jewelry and jade pottery. Tea perfumes for a Uh, tea perfume there. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. Define fun. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over a thousand. I have made kites in Lille for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. Okay. Indeed. These are decorations used in the light of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. Uh -huh. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract. Okay. Ah, I'm before. Uh, shoosh. Stop talking. The design of this kite displays a firm grasp I literally told her to shut up. ...and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All of this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a... Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for payments... As for the payments... He says, uh-oh, I gotta pay well, for it again. Oh, what? Child is actually came in to fund the thing. Finally came in to foot the bill. Do you reach me here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Jean-Lee's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. Just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. And mm. perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. Because he cannot imagine himself but others. Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as material. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Uh, oh, right. by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Sean leave in the bargain if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, God. Hmm. It seems I've missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Mm hmm. My plan has not yet come to fruition. I must. Huge bag more uh, funds provided a child's sense of stability. Uh. Fifty thousand of it. Oh, 
But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Because I hate clerics. Adventure. We're adventuring the mountains to capture I mean, five crystal flies. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Eh, never mind. I'll only charge you 50. The most fair price. Uh. Fine. A pleasure doing business with you. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's expensive. You monster? Well, you may never have heard of this. Uh, we can't fall. Just pay them all off and move on. Pay off the workers and stop trying to work around it. <laughs> You're gonna regret it. We gotta find a flower because we didn't negotiate. Ah, uh, God. A few minutes later. I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. Okay. Uh. Talk to child. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. Oh god. <laughs> well, you may have uh, the you give me the information I need. No! What else? Are you forgetting what happened in Mondstadt? What else could the Kutui want? You're right, Signora! Flashback. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Someone did a blizzard fix. Oh! At last, Mondstadt's Rogan's ruler in the flesh. La Signora, Fair Lady, the Ah, oh, I couldn't even read fast enough. Ooh! Oh! You got gut punched with an elemental attack! Dang! Also, what happened? End of flashback. <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense on this. Should I tell him or Zhongli will tell him? Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Oh my god, how many things you have to go to? Everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. How many places do we have to go to? Fucking long tick tacked and whatever the hell it is. Or whatever else I can get. The reception is in pharmacy. What? Right, it's just an empty place. We gonna say peekaboo? We're short. We're short. <laughs> You're like a Zhangxi, a zombie spirit person. Is she a zombie? Oh god, you're. E That's one of the characters we can play as, isn't she? Once upon a time, she Best character I have. Such so a shot delivery she for a bombshell of relation. Be a dead guy. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Also, she sounds old for someone who looks really young. Something like this will be 
Because she's a zombie. Okay. Zongshi. Oh, little girl. <laughs> sell everlasting incense here. Thank you, little girl. And then she gets up, gets all pissed off, and tries to rip Zhongli's face right off. Like a scene from an anime. Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? No, he didn't. What What makes you think he did? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. What? Are you Tony's your own boss or something? Within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Mm. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. What do you want? Customers need to do favors for customer service staff. Uh, when things get so deteriorated down to a barter system where people have to trade with one another for things, and somehow currency is out of the question, and probably we spent all the money. Oh well! Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Lyra, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. I've heard of the word art of the deal, and it is not a good example. I'm sure you can provide a reason behind that, Patrick. Go to Mount Tiano. Find the Guizhong Ballista. Find the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. Located in Chinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adeptus beast. Something tells me I gotta go fight the thing. Now they are. Can you tell us from anything else you don't remember? Very well. Let's start by investigating. Oh god. Fetch quest. Can I check the crossbow? Do I have to bring this crossbow back with us? Okay. After millennia of wear and tear, even a dead eye contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high-society knowledge powers! Oh, God. I feel like I want to slap her just for that statement alone. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. You did it before. What makes you think you're not going to do it again? That said, <clears throat> let me think for a moment. Ah, as I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the past. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the wage on the list. I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. I really wonder how you would know. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Hmm, maybe all will be revealed. He knows stuff. He just doesn't want to say it. Because he doesn't want to put too much of himself out there. For obvious reasons, because he might be related to things. How to get inside this thing. All the doors are locked, and I get into it from anywhere. Do I have to find a window or something? I have to find a window. This is the only other way in. Uh oh. Did I get stuck in a corner? Nope, I didn't get stuck in a corner. Alright. This. Lots of stuff. Uh, I get in and out. One window. Two windows. 
Alright, where is it again? Ah, because why else are we repairing a large crossbow? One moment. I will try to repair the device. Imagine he screws up and he still says it again. <laughs> it is done. The way John oh no, he actually did it right. Intricately designed than I thought. All you did was reattach the string and the bow arms. Other than that, it, that all you had to do is reattach a few things. Ooh. Now how do we turn it on? It, it, it's not an electronic. You talk about it like it's an electronic. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Where's the scope? I'm gonna slap her across the face again. Hey! Ah, uh, now there's something. Over here, we so have three people. This turret, because you're planning to do what exactly? Uh, fight a large adept that beast because we're on another fresh quest to do a funeral right thing now for God. A wage on Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. Huh. Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Mm -hmm. This area is supposed to be chock full man. of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. It? Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it? Yes. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adept is for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. Mm -hmm. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Mmm, strong words. Are you gonna join in and help us fight him? The church order. My hammer. All right, where's the other one? Go over here. I'm gonna take care of you first. Splash him with water. Splash him with water.
deal with the guy up here first before I go down there. Not says the developers, but okay. Oh, yeah, so A search using the Guajong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. Mm -hmm. What's more, a contraption built using adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an adeptus, as Chi Chi put it. Uh, repairing this was a complete waste of time. Yeah, but like, to, to do what? <sighs> we won't solve anything like we here in racking our brains. Let's return to Google Pharmacy. Explain the... Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts! Oh, God. We did our best. We wasted our time, but it was all for good reason. Mm. We couldn't find the Coco Beast. Why'd you send us to repair the Ballista? Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adeptin Beast of which you speak. <sighs> the Coco Beast. Don't worry about it. Oh, poor Chi Chi. Uh, we need this Coco. This Coco Goat for it. Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. I'm sorry. I have a poor member ah, here. This is the name. Coconut Bellas. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I want to slap her now! Ugh, coconut. Hey, I have her so I can join your world with her. You can slap her as much as you want. Oh my god, we, we freaking wasted our time. <laughs> Coco goat. There's, there was never there. It was coconut milk. It's time to tell you where coconut. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. It begins with the fruit of a coconut tree. Oh god! I feel like, oh god! No, impossible. Oh, uh, and it got bright all of a sudden. <laughs> She needs time to work it through. They all need to grow up some time. Need to work it through. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Who is this person with the white snake around his neck? Might I ask who? Oh, how rude. Baizu. I'm Baizu, boss of the Yu Pharmacy. I thought that Chi Chi was the one. Oh god, the white snake talks. Nothing in Leeway surprises me anymore. I will say that. I prefer to stay silent, but based on strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. Yes, you are. What is your point? <laughs> She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing Chi Chi's side, 
point of business, friends you here. Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Uh-huh. Except they don't. Three million more. Top on it. Guaranteed. Mm, I don't think I have that much. It's gonna take a while to get that much. Three million. Just round the golden house. Oh, but the cheese is looking a bit older for now. Security will be higher than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking. It could be a hard sum to come by. Even you're having a hard time wrapping your head around this. Even you can't get anybody else to buy that. I bet you probably have that amount, Patrick. This is correct. Twenty minutes later, <laughs> they actually did go crawling back to child. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baishu, is it? Truly on unchimed, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut oil, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution of Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with stunted deals, but so much buzz around coconut milk? Coconut milk. Why don't you click Chi-Chi wants coconut milk? Ah, yes, yes of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 more. That's not a discount. No. no. First of all, you already said that with three million. Don't bother. How do we get that much money? God. How are we gonna get that much everlasting incense? Why the hell is that so much? Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping around. Yes, Master Oh, God. Ekaterina. They spoke of the Chi-Sing taking the golden house. Well, well, well. I think Wang and Chi-Sing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the golden house? Now, Yuzui, I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Mm-hmm. Even the ceilings? A respectable cultural heritage. Frickin' bought something. Did I lose all my mora for this? Or do I still have it? How much more do I? No, I still got it. It's right at the bottom. Is this the last of the fetch quest, or do I need to get more? Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Uh, don't you mean are not far off? But I will. Grammar, please. Finally. Well, Traveler. Have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been odd. Odd? Uh, I'm not sure if we've been living the if we've been living the high for experiencing this or experiencing the struggles of the poor. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. In other words, you I'll figure it out. I'm just to treat you to a meal. Oh, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Mmm, I'm gonna hold you to it. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Oh my god. <laughs> a long goodbye. Ah, 
You're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. There's no need to do anything. I've done everything. Third round knockout is not for lightweights. Like those Does this mean I can order set. wine this time? Here, I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should have expected If it this. is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Mingguan's Jade Chamber. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one that the bad travel guy uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liu lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. Your nose is shifting left and right. What does I don't know why. it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends. Lady Ning Wang's masterwork that imagine the weather is clear. No. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor. No. Cutscene They time. say that when Lady Ning Wang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded. And whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, uh -huh. oh, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling lizard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Nero, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianjin have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. Uh -huh. So, Shink, uh, Shink, Shink, Palace in the Sky. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of a wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two. Okay, I'll here. Is that her? Yeah. Alright, we gotta Wait. go. I am not with the Melody, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Leo Chisane. My name is Gandhi, secretary of the Yuaha Pavilion. Gandhi? I am specifically to be you. You're Gandhi? Secretary? Oh, well, in concrete terms, I am a corporate secretary of Leo Chisane. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Mm. Mingguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayu and Karst. I am duty bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full, but I have with me a letter from Lady Mingguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianchuan. Uh-huh. So how the hell are we going to get up she to that Jade Palace? palace in the sky. How are we going to get up there? We don't have Zonai equipment, not like in Tears of the Kingdom to get up there, so... In Genshin Impact, that's gonna be a whole other story. How do we climb the sky? 
I wish to meet her, but at the Jade Chamber, together we shall smith every one of these entwining dark threads. Hmm, hmm, can you? Aren't you one of the characters I saw? Press completed. Alright, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta take a break. I gotta get ready for school. I'll see you all next week. I gotta get some studying done tomorrow. So, I will see you all next week. Alright, bye!